Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, you guys. Uh, it is now Wednesday. All right. We are a few days removed from that Super Bowl. Now, in case you guys don't know, the Super Bowl was a all-around disaster. Lowest ratings in almost a decade. Uh, halftime show was a disaster. You know, most people said Justin Timberlake's halftime show was appalling and it was disrespectful to the legend Prince and it was just it was just whack period okay and then not to mention um, the city of Philadelphia destroyed you know the downtown area was acting like complete savages and eating horse shit literally it was just an all around disaster low ratings bad halftime performance uh destruction and chaos in the city rioting because that's what it was white thuggery and then you had this guy Michael Rappaport who tries to disrespect Janet Jackson now they had a Janet Jackson appreciation day because Janet Jackson said I'm not fucking with the Super Bowl because the Super Bowl treated Janet Jackson very unfairly and I stand by that it was a you know, it was just a mis misfortunate incident and it got blown out of proportion. You know, it got way blew out of proportion and basically Janet Jackson's name was dragged through the mud. And Justin Timberlake snaked her by basically taking his ass to the Grammys when they uninvited Janet Jackson, but he took his ass there anyway. And black people still continue to support him and buy his records. So I blame y'all for that. Like I said before, black people will go to bat and they will go out of their way to defend a person that's not black versus a person that is black. And that's been proven time and time again. But you guys don't want to be labeled coons. coons. But anyway, Michael Rappaport decided to say, hey, when was the last time Janet Jackson had a hit song that was popping? People, you know, just talking about motherfuckers fine shit to celebrate and all that type of shit. Which, like Torian Rain said, that was sort of like could have been a subliminal message or a subliminal shot at black people. But anyway, first of all, fuck Michael Rappaport with a capital F. When was the last time Janet Jackson had something that was popular? When was the last time you had a hit movie? When was the last time you had a hit show? Because that show you was on White Famous, you probably the reason why they canceled it. Michael Rappaport got some nerve. As I said before, Michael Rappaport is one of the most one-dimensional actors that's out there. God plays the same fucking character in every movie. Maybe somebody need to tell him that. Okay. What was the last hit movie you was in? Just because you put out some movie about the uh, tribe called Quest, they'll give you some black some black pass where you think you can call yourself like imposing your thoughts and your theories on black people and black culture. I don't give a fuck about that a tribe called Quest documentary you put out. You still a white boy and you need to stay in your place. Don't speak on our shit. And I don't give a fuck about you talking about Donald Trump. Like I said, who don't talk about Donald Trump? That shit don't phase me and that shit don't impress me. The problem is with black people, we need to start checking these white motherfuckers before they even start getting comfortable. We need to start reminding them of who they are. But black people is so mesmerized when they see a, a white guy that may know a little bit of uh, black slang or he may know a rap song and shit and, and oh he's down he's down no he just happened to see the shit just because somebody likes something that black people do doesn't mean they actually like black people that's been proven time and time again but what i'm really proud about and i want to say shout out to all the black people that went on michael rapaport's um social media accounts putting him in his place because as of late um michael rapaport been getting getting his ass roasted via you know, black Twitter, you know, black social medias. 
And that's good. We got to start doing that with everybody. You know, from the Kim Kardashians to the Justin Timber fakes to all them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Stop like swagger jacking, man. Stop imposing and stealing black culture. And like I said before, Justin Timberlake, to my knowledge, tried to sneak this prince a long time ago. And as I said before, Prince didn't like Justin Timberlake. So why are you paying tribute? And the NFL need to ask themselves, but this is the 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 incompetence of the NFL. And I keep asking this question, why did you have to get a white artist? There wasn't any black artist that could have could have paid tribute to Prince. Why not Chris Brown? Shit, why shit? Why not Usher? Anybody but fucking Justin Timber Snake. One thing white people need to be reminded of, we don't need your validation. We don't need y'all to cover our songs to, to show us and prove to us how good we are. We don't need your approval. And this has been going on for a while. And kind of like them letting Justin Timberlake pay tribute to Prince was sort of like a slap in the face. Now, before some some smart ass white boy come on here saying, well, did you know Prince was Prince was half half? No, Prince was black. Prince on several occasions said he was black. So don't come with that shit. Like I said, I already know what you motherfuckers be thinking before you even say it. Prince was black. Okay. Let's get that out the way. He was a black artist. Okay. Don't even try it. Real talk. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. They could have got anybody but Justin Timberlake. I, I, I mean, when do you say enough is enough? Because kind of like what they did with Justin Timberlake kind of reminded me back in the day, like in the, you know, in the 50s and 60s, you know, during the Jim Crow days and all and all that type of shit. A lot of times what you didn't know is a lot of times black artists wasn't allowed to perform their songs in certain places or on certain TV shows. They had to have a white person you know, cover their songs, which is insulting within itself. And that's what Justin Timberlake, to me, reminded me of when he did that shit. The NFL, to a certain degree, has tried to sneak this. The black players has tried to sneak this black people. But then at the same time, these motherfuckers still want our money. Now, I'm going to say something. If you're from Philadelphia and you watch the Super Bowl, hey, that's hey, that's that's you. I can't tell you what to do. If you a black person that's listening to this video and you watch the Super Bowl because you fulfill it, hey, do you? But I can assure you this: if the Raiders or the 49ers, whatever the case may be, if they happen to play in the Super Bowl, I won't be watching. You can believe that. I promise you, I won't be watching. I did not watch one Raider game on TV. I did not watch one 49er game on TV because I was showing some solidarity and some loyalty to Colin Kaepernick. But we already know that there's loyalty lacking in our communities. That's been going on for years. We all over the place. We don't even get give each other the benefit of the doubt when certain shit come out or, or a certain story may come out. We quickly to convict each other. But we willing to say we forgive the the man, the oppressor. We quick to forgive the oppressor for what they did to us. But when it comes to other people, then, hey, nah, fuck them. I'm done with them. I don't understand. Why do we have to be pitch perfect? But then the people that's then had a history of causing harm to us, they get a pass. They get forget. They get forgiveness. So, it's just a lot of inconsistencies with us. And I'm just keeping it real, but I'm glad that people was checking Michael Rappaport via social media. 
because he need to be checked. We got to start putting these white motherfuckers in their place. You're not one of us. You know what I'm saying? You're not one of us. You're not down. Okay? Stop getting too comfortable. Stop, you know what I'm saying? Stop coming in my house, opening up my refrigerator. Okay? Because that's, that's what we got going on. We got the, the white guests that just come in your house, you know what I'm saying, without knocking. And then, you know what I'm saying, just help himself to anything he wants in a refrigerator with nah you when you come in my house you gotta knock and i have to decide what i'm gonna let you in and when you come in my house you gonna sit your ass down on the couch you ain't gonna be able to walk all over my house and if you want something to eat you gonna wait till i offer it to you and see that's the problem that we have going on people being too comfortable we got to start back to setting these boundaries, setting guidelines, setting setting rules. Fuck, fuck a black pass. Fuck a black card. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even giving out no temporary uh, membership. I'm going to always remind you motherfuckers that you different. And great video by Tori and Ray. He spoke on that, on, on, on this same particular subject, too. We gotta go back to put motherfuckers in a place, man. Cause like I said, uh we 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 in a sunken place. We are as a whole. Like I said, we all over the place. But anyway, that's all I have to say about the Malcolm Rappaport thing. Shout out to everybody that put that white boy in his place, man. I'm out.